Hey everyone, welcome to the sixth and final part of Let's Play Mega Man, Dr. Wily's Revenge. Yay! Picking up right where we left off with Super Cheaty Sniper Joes. Really, Sniper Joe? Is that how it's going to be done? Well, hey man, you're not too bad, giving me life. Now these Mets charge after they shoot, so if you just run underneath them, they'll charge in the opposite direction and hit you, and we don't want that. Now for this, hopefully, uh, you know, it occurs to you to jump on these blocks so they melt under your weight, otherwise you'll be here a while. Oh, I hate those spiny things. Yay, two for one. This part you gotta be really careful on. There's a fan and electric current. So the odds of death on your first time here are high. I'm gonna switch to carry just in case I mess something up here. And the odds of that are high as disappearing blocks over spikes are my greatest nemesis. Oh god. Man, so paranoid that a block was going to pop up just above me, you know? Yeah, this is my first time playing this part of the stage in quite a while, so you're pretty much seeing it as I am. So if so... Nah, I don't trust that at all. So, I mean, if it's fully possible something's going to just blatantly catch me off guard. And if it does, you'll see it. Come on. So, what do you think my odds of getting past it are? Zero? Me too. And yeah, that was kind of a lose-lose situation since it was up in the air like that. Are you kidding, game? Alright, well that's... It. Seriously? Well, how the hell am I going to get past it? Cause it's just gonna keep respawning. All right, there we go. What a pain! Stupid. Oh god! And these guys, yeah, boy howdy! I wanted these guys to come back. Why do I have a feeling I'm going to die? Oh, I feel it. Oh yeah, I mean, that was just too obvious. At least this game, it's obvious when it's going to try to do the block above you. It's like, here's a conspicuous block way at the bottom. I trust this. <laughs> that was awesome. Did I mention that carry sucks because you can't do anything while it's on screen? Yeah, I forgot I had a carry equipped. Then the, then the sniper Joe used it. That was pretty funny. Really? Oh yeah, well, this is so easy. What what what's my problem with this game? I mean, the biggest problem here is that there's no way to destroy those, to actually destroy those scissors. <sighs> oh, that was a risk. Oh, come on, thing, you thought you were going to trick me or something? Yeah, the stage doesn't mess around. Oh, I remember this part. I'm going to back out real quick. 
This part of the stage is all about the firestorm. Are you serious right now? Well, I'm dead. Pretty sure I can't possibly get through the next screen without taking damage, but... Well, not from those. I was talking about the Pippies and their children. Really? Are you kidding? Okay, you know what? That's That checkpoint's absurd. It's gonna set me back ten minutes of game time, whatever. I'm gonna meet you back. I'm gonna meet you back at that part of the stage. I'm not gonna make you watch this again. Be right back. Okay, I am back after some annoyance. Oh, let's uh, continue on. Took me a while to get back here in halfway decent shape, but let's continue on. Ah, oh, I hate this stage. Like, I'm almost considering just dropping through the lightning here, just to take the hit. Oh, now see, that's the biggest problem there, is that Pippi dropping its dudes. If you can um, get to the side there and hit your Firestorm fast enough, you can take them all out. Uh, now then, in order to get through there... Actually, no. I was going to charge up my Atomic Fire. Actually, I'll, I'll show you the fact that you can charge it up first. It's three levels of charge, and then it gets huge. Bust right through them. So that's what that does. And by the way, I hope you have some carry power still when you get here. It's not as bad as an NES game with the magnet beam, but you can get yourself screwed pretty easily if you use it all up. Huh. Seems like there's probably something good over there. Nope, just some weapon energies. And lightning beams, and death spikes, and more death spikes, and oh god! I actually feel pretty dark. Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, normally when a path is more difficult to get to, you know, it's got, you know, it's the better path. But that one had some pretty useless weapon energies, lots of death spikes, harder enemies. Um, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with my decision. Oh, the last shot of a Lek Beam. I'll miss you. Yay! That makes me pretty happy. God, I gotta be almost near the end. Oh, this looks fun! La 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 la. Ice Slasher is amazing. No, that's right. Okay. I, I knew I had to be near the end. Now, this is a checkpoint, so if you die, you'll restart at this fight. But alright, we're at it. Finally. First form's weak against Quick Boomerang. Hug close to him. He'll send a high, a high spinny, then a. Wow, good lord Christ. High spinny and a low spinny, and I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna let him kill me here, cause I forgot the pattern. Thank, thankfully, Quick Boomerang has a ton of hit, a ton of shots. I think that's supposed to be like the hint it's used against the final boss, cause it has so many shots. So he's gonna shoot one high, shoot one low, shoot one high, shoot one low, shoot one high, etc. and so forth. Just as soon as you get used to the, the pattern and how they pop out, it's not too bad. Alright, phase two. Remember Anchor's weapon? That isn't really Anchor's weapon. That's what we're going to be using. It puts a cool little shield in front of us there that I horribly used. But you got to dodge this lobster claw. And shoot Dr. Wily's shots back at him. I can't believe how bad I'm doing right now, but, you know. What the hell? What the fuck? Are you kidding me, game? Never get hit by that claw. Never. Never. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna get to the point where I'm too pissed off to continue. 
I've been getting very irritated in the last couple videos. What the hell, game? Are you shitting me? Really? What the hell even hit me? Seriously. What the fuck is going on with this game right now? Like, shit's just not working right. Are you serious? The easiest way through... Whatever. Whatever. If you don't want to follow the own pattern that you've been using for the last 20 fucking years, that's your issue. Now I'm, now I'm too pissed off. I'm not paying attention. Whatever! Go fuck yourself, game! Are you f fucking kidding me? Now, there's a couple ways to do this fight. You can try to be more aggressive and take on his top shots as well, or just focus on the shots he makes at the bottom. That's the safer way. Since I have no lives left, that's probably the way I'm going to do it. And since I'm far too pissed off to have the attention span to uh, do the attacks on top, I'm probably going to stick to this, unless I feel... See? What the hell was that? Mirror Buster reflects everything, and I still take the hit? I get pissed off when the game's mechanics break itself. See? that w Was it that hard? Was it that hard? God damn. I almost don't want to keep this take just because I had to swear so much, but I think that adds to the flavor. Like I said, I hadn't played that part of the level before, and... You know, part of live commentary is being in the situation, you know, with me. The first time you're watching it is the first time I'm doing it. So if I do something stupid, is right there. Uh, you see it. I mean, you get an honest reaction. Not something, you know, I've reset the video and done 50 times to get it to an art. When I get pissed off, I get pissed off, and you get to see it. That's fun, right? gonna go through the Emonies longest credit sequence ever so uh, wait that's not the fast forward button oh, I forgot the fast forward on this is uh, like super turbo mode cutting wheel screwdriver yay screwdriver super cutter metal gabiole swarm mole pippy sniper joe big eye kaminari goro janky maker Bun be Harry, the spaz flyers I hate so much. Cup Man, Elect Man, Ice Man, Fire Man. I don't know, it's so hard to think of these bo these robot masters as being in the game. I mean, they had no stages. You just go to them and fight them. that epic power walking.
Huh, <sighs> okay, that's gonna end it. We're at the end of Let's Play Mega Man and Dr. Wily's Revenge. Despite those hiccups at the end, uh, mostly being me never practicing the stage or the final boss, I think it went well. Sorry for yawning. Went to bed at 7 o'clock in the morning, got four hours of sleep, and now I'm making videos. Uh, but yeah. Fun game. Short. The Wily stages are a pain in the ass because they're unfair. But aside from that, you know, this is a, this is a good first entry in the series for the Game Boy. Uh, it's certainly, it's it's not my favorite, but I do enjoy its pick-up and playness. Uh, it's overall just a solid little game. Um, I think its reputation for being overly difficult is uh, not necessarily well-earned. It's just one of those games, when you know it's coming, it's not that bad. But like the Dr. Wily stages, I mean, like in that first one, how are you supposed to know to jump off to the left... Swerve slightly to the right to avoid a guy on a platform, and then swerve back to the left to avoid spikes again. I mean, it's trial and error, so, so much of it, but... Anyway, that does it for this LP. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good day.